Welcome to the show, everybody. Today, we're diving deep into the world of creatine, the most studied supplement on the planet. And let me tell you, this stuff is fascinating. We're talking about a naturally occurring compound that can seriously impact your workouts, your brain power, and your overall health. Now, creatine has been around for ages, but it's surrounded by so much misinformation and bro science. People think it's just for bodybuilders trying to get swole, or they worry about water weight and hair loss. But we're going to separate fact from fiction today. We're going to break down 13 things you probably didn't know about creatine, backed by science and real-world results. Buckle up, because this is going to blow your mind. First off, let's talk about the science behind creatine. This stuff has been studied more than almost any other supplement out there. We're talking thousands of studies, people. And the results are in creatine works. It's not some fly-by-night supplement with questionable claims. Researchers have been looking at this stuff for decades, and they keep finding more and more benefits. From muscle growth and strength gains to improved brain function and even potential anti-aging properties, creatine is a game-changer. So if you're skeptical about supplements, I get it. But understand that creatine is in a league of its own. It's backed by a mountain of evidence. You might be thinking, hold on Joe, I thought creatine was found naturally in food. And you're right, it is. You can get some creatine from eating meat, especially red meat. But here's the thing. Even if you're a hardcore carnivore, you're probably not getting enough creatine from your diet alone. We're talking maybe 60 to 80% of what your muscles can actually hold. To really maximize those creatine stores and reap all the benefits, supplementation is key. Think of it like this, you eat your veggies for health but you take a multivitamin to fill in the gaps, right? Same idea with creatine. Now this is where it gets really interesting. Most people associate creatine with muscles and gym performance, which makes sense. But what if I told you creatine is a brain booster too? Yeah, you heard that right. Creatine can actually enhance your cognitive function in some pretty amazing ways. Studies have shown improvements in memory, focus, and even overall mood. It's like giving your brain a shot of rocket fuel. And for anyone who's feeling mentally drained or just wants to sharpen their mind, creatine could be a game changer. We're talking about potentially improving sleep quality, reducing mental fatigue, and even fighting off age-related cognitive decline. All right, let's talk about fat loss for a second. Now, creatine isn't some magic weight loss pill, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it can indirectly help you shed fat and get leaner. How? Well, creatine helps you build more muscle, and muscle burns more calories at rest than fat does. So, by increasing your muscle mass, you're essentially turning your body into a fat-burning machine. Plus, creatine can give you that extra edge in the gym, allowing you to push harder and burn more calories during your workouts. And some studies even suggest that creatine can directly stimulate fat metabolism. Let's address the elephant in the room, the dreaded creatine bloat. Now it's true that creatine can cause some water retention, but here's the thing, that water is going into your muscles, not just sitting under your skin making you look puffy. Think about it. Creatine pulls water into your muscle cells, making them bigger and fuller. This is what we call intracellular hydration. It's actually a good thing. It helps with muscle growth, recovery, and even performance. So, yeah, you might see a slight increase on the scale, but it's not fat, it's mostly water weight in your muscles. Here's another benefit of creatine you don't hear about too often. It's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Inflammation is a natural process in the body, but chronic inflammation is linked to a whole host of health problems. Creatine has been shown to help combat this inflammation, which can be huge for overall health and well-being. And then there's the antioxidant effect. Antioxidants are like little warriors in your body fighting off free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can damage cells and contribute to aging and disease. Creatine acts as an antioxidant, helping to protect your cells from this oxidative stress. Some studies even suggest it might slow down tumor progression. You might be surprised to learn that creatine can actually benefit your cardiovascular health. We're talking about potentially improving blood flow, strengthening blood vessels, and even enhancing heart performance, especially during exercise. Now this doesn't mean you can just start slamming creatine shakes and ignore all other aspects of heart health, but it does suggest that creatine can play a role in supporting a healthy cardiovascular system. 
And for athletes or anyone who pushes their body physically, creatine's ability to improve blood flow and oxygen delivery to muscles can be a huge advantage. All right, let's talk about some of the lesser known benefits of creatine. Did you know it can actually increase bone density? Yeah, you heard that right. Stronger bones thanks to creatine. This is especially important as we age, as bone density naturally declines, increasing the risk of osteoporosis and fractures. Creatine could be a valuable tool in maintaining strong healthy bones throughout life. And here's another mind-blowing benefit creatine's potential neuroprotective effects. Studies are showing promising results in terms of protecting against neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and even ALS. Now, let's address one of the biggest myths surrounding creatine hair loss. This one's been circulating the gym for years, but it's simply not true. The myth originated from a single, poorly designed study that's been debunked time and time again. Multiple reviews of the scientific literature have found absolutely no link between creatine use and hair loss. Creatine doesn't increase DHT levels, which is the hormone primarily responsible for male pattern baldness. So, if you're worried about your hairline, rest assured that creatine is not the culprit. One of the most common questions I get about creatine is, is it safe to take long term? And, well, the answer is a resounding yes. Creatine is one of the most extensively studied supplements out there and research has consistently shown that it's safe for healthy individuals to take for long periods. We're talking years of use without any adverse effects on the liver, kidneys, or any other organ system. In fact, some studies suggest that long-term creatine use might even have additional health benefits beyond what we've already discussed. Of course, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor before starting any new supplement regimen, but overall, creatine has a very strong safety profile. All right, let's talk about creatine loading. This is where things get a little controversial. Traditionally, people would load up on 20 grams of creatine per day for the first week to saturate their muscles quickly. While this does work, it can lead to some unpleasant side effects like stomach cramps, bloating, and even diarrhea. The good news is, you don't necessarily need to load creatine. You can achieve the same muscle saturation by taking a smaller dose around 5 grams per day consistently over time. It might take a few weeks longer to reach peak saturation, but it's generally easier on your stomach and just as effective in the long run. Now here's something a lot of people don't realize. Not everyone responds to creatine the same way. In fact, about 25% of people are considered non-responders. This means they don't experience the same muscle building or performance enhancing benefits as others. Why? Well, it's often because they naturally have higher creatine levels to begin with, their muscles are already pretty saturated so supplementing doesn't make much of a difference. The best way to know if you're a responder or not is to simply try it out and see how your body reacts. Alright ladies this one's for you. Creatine isn't just for guys. Women can benefit from it just as much, although the effects might manifest a little differently. While women may not see the same dramatic increases in muscle mass and strength as men due to hormonal differences, they can still experience significant improvements in exercise performance, recovery, and body composition. Plus, women tend to see greater benefits in other areas like mood enhancement, improved brain function, and even reduced symptoms associated with PMS and menopause. So, there you have it. 13 surprising facts about creatine that you probably didn't know. It's not just some bro science supplement, it's a scientifically backed powerhouse that can benefit your workouts, your brain, and your overall health. Whether you're an athlete looking to gain an edge, a fitness enthusiast trying to improve your physique, or just someone wanting to enhance their cognitive function and well-being, creatine is definitely worth considering. Remember, always do your research, talk to your doctor, and find what works best for you. And hey, if you learned something new today, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and I'll see you in the next video. So, there you have it. 13 surprising facts about creatine that you probably didn't know. It's not just some bro science supplement, it's a scientifically backed powerhouse that can benefit your workouts, your brain, and your overall health. Whether you're an athlete looking to gain an edge, a fitness enthusiast trying to improve your physique, or just someone wanting to enhance their cognitive function and well-being, 
Creatine is definitely worth considering. Remember, always do your research, talk to your doctor, and find what works best for you. And hey, if you learned something new today, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and I'll see you in the next video.